I know I'm not as smart as you. You know, maybe I can't analyze and theorize and speculate on why we behave the way we do. You read all of those books, not me. But I do know one thing. I know how I feel. I know that I can stand here watching you try to destroy everything I've ever wanted in my life. Wanting to smash your face in with my fists because you won't make even the slightest effort to opt for happiness. And still know that I love you. That is always so clear to me. It's the one place I get all my strength from. You mean so much to me that I am willing to stand here and take all of your abuse and insults and insensitivity because that's what you need to do to prove that I'm not going to leave you. I can't promise I'm not going to die, George. <laughs> that's asking too much. But if you want to test me, go ahead and test me. If you want to leave, leave, but I am not the one who's going to be walking away. Now, I don't know if I can take it for forever, but I can take it for tonight. And I can take it next week. Next month, I may be a little shaky. But let me tell you one thing, George. I feel so good about myself. Better than I felt when I ran away from Cleveland and was frightened to death of New York. Better than I felt when I thought there was no one in the world out there for me. And better than I felt the night before we got married. And I thought that I wasn't good enough for you. I am. I am wonderful. I am nuts about me. And if you are stupid enough to throw someone sensational like me away, then you don't deserve as good as you've got. I am sick and tired and running, of running away from places and people and relationships. You want me? Then fight for me. Because I am fighting like hell for you, George.